All right, Lachlan Murdoch is going Hollywood. The Financial Times reported today that the eldest son of Rupert Murdoch is making a joint bid for the Hollywood Reporter and Billboard magazines through his Illyria Investment Company, along with Pluribus Capital Management. Now, the magazines are part of Nielsen Business Media, and the offer could include uh, other Nielsen titles. Joining us now to talk about this is Andrew Edgecliffe Johnson, the media editor at the Financial Times, who broke this story. Uh, Andrew, thanks for joining us. Let me ask you, you know, when I, when I read this this morning, the first thing I thought is, wow, this really rich guy is going and buying newspaper assets. Does he just know more than the rest of us do about the business, or is it in his blood and he can't help it? Well, you're right. The initial reaction when you hear that Lachlan Murdoch, who incidentally just sold half of his stake in News Corporation, his father's company, uh, is buying half a stake in a business that a lot of people have given up on is to wonder what he sees in it. Um, I think the answer is that the trade magazines that we know uh, these brands for best, things like The Hollywood Reporter and Billboard, have really been suffering. They've uh, been losing revenue year after year in, uh, in recent years. But it's not just about the trade magazines. They do have these enormous brands that have been built up for years. Um, and they also have events. They also have databases. And what a lot of people are now realizing is that the data that a business like The Hollywood Reporter has and can tell you on what a particular film with a particular actress is likely to do at the box office for 16 to 25 year old men is of real value to uh, the industry. So uh, they're now getting much savvier about how they can actually monetize the communities that they've served all these years. Yeah, I tend to think anybody uh, 16 to 25 or 16 to 55 is going to look straight to IMDb if he wants to know anything about movies. Uh, in the case of Billboard, though, they clearly have a, a, a huge brand there uh, and a territory that could be hard uh, to take over. Have these businesses been neglected? I mean, has Billboard uh, been modernized as much as maybe it could have been? Uh, Billboard actually looks a lot healthier than The Hollywood Reporter. It's facing much less competition despite being in a very difficult industry. If you think about the recorded music business, pretty much everybody involved in that has suffered over recent years. So it's, uh, they've done remarkably well in the circumstances. But I think um, you know, all of these businesses are seeing a rather similar pattern. Much more competition for advertisers, for readers, and for stories. If you take The Hollywood Reporter, for example, the first sniff of the fact that this, this business might be on the block came from The Wrap, which is a Los Angeles blog set up in uh, recent times to compete with the former dominance of the likes of The Hollywood Reporter and Variety. So it's a much more difficult competitive environment out there. Hey, is this a reemergence for Lachlan Murdoch? I mean, other than yachting, a lot of people wonder what he's been doing since 2005 when he left News Corp. Yeah, it took a long time for us to find out what this Illyria vehicle of his would really uh, was really there for. He'd made some very small investments, mostly in and around Australia. And just in the last two weeks when he you know, made that sale of News Corp stock, he's invested in uh, an Australian ra radio business being sold off, uh, half a uh, stake of an Australian ra radio business being sold off by the Daily Mail and General Trust in the UK. And now he's doing this, which is his first big re-entry into a prominent U.S. media business. And these are um, publications which often comment on businesses his father is in. So it is getting a little closer to home. I and mean, it's very, very different to go from an empire you know, behind Fox News uh, and the New York Post to this particular um, group of titles. But I think much like his father, he also knows uh, bargain when he sees one. He's, yep. he's bargaining that he may have a chance here to buy in at the bottom when the rest of the world has given up on these brands. All right, Andrew, thanks so much for joining us. Andrew Edgecliff Johnson there from the uh, Financial Times.